I'm Nick with MaxSources.com at CES 2017 with Dave here at ReSound, and he's going to tell us a little bit about their hearing aids and what they can do with a smartphone. Thanks, Nick. Um, well, we're particularly proud to be the first in the 2.4 gigahertz space for hearing aids. We launched our first product in 2010 using 2.4 gigahertz, and then three years ago at CES, we also launched the first made for iPhone hearing aid. The advantage of that is certainly that we made a small, uh, state-of-the-art hearing aid device that has an embedded antenna to pick up signals directly from the uh, smartphone and enable a person to stream any app that has audio uh, directly to the uh, hearing aids to use a cell phone and transmit directly to both instruments but also really to get into further optimization beyond what a professional provides to fit the hearing aid appropriately for the person's hearing loss. And within the app, what, we do, what we've done with that is develop the ability for not only the individual to control the device in different listening environments. So if they're in a quiet environment or a restaurant, they can make changes without the need for an intermediate device, just the product on their ears. One of the more frequent uh, uh, complaints was when I was working clinically as an audiologist was people would say, well, when I'm in the clinic, I hear fine, but where I really have trouble is at my favorite restaurant. So what we did was built into the app the ability to further optimize the instrument uh, in real world environments like this, where I could say I want to turn everything down a little bit, and then using the location services on the iPhone, you can save and store that so that next time you come back to this spot, it will restore those settings. Uh, in addition, another feature that's proven to be really popular is called Find My Hearing Aid. If you take the hearing aids out, now we don't want people to do that, we want them in their ears, but if they happen to set them down in an unfamiliar location and they've forgotten where they left them, you can use the, uh, the phone like a divining rod to locate where you left the hearing aids last when you took them out of your ear. So it's an example of where we don't really want to reinvent the wheel with what the smartphone can already do with location services and this proximity sensing, but we want to take a state-of-the-art hearing aid, couple it to the phone to enable connectivity, sound quality, and performance. That's awesome. How do these actually charge? Are they charging with a standard hearing aid battery or are you doing we're, rechargeable? We're using a standard hearing aid battery at the present time. One of the issues with uh, these small pill batteries used in hearing aids is that the, using the charge density that you need in order to power this sophisticated of a circuit sometimes is difficult to get a full day's battery life. And then there's been some of the uh, sort of the celebrated uh, failures with uh, some of the, uh, the, the lithium ion batteries. You put them up close to your head, you get them wet in that environment, you got to make darn sure that you're really securing and sealing those batteries because talk about uh, ultimate cognitive decline if you've got a, a device in or on your ear. So we're developing uh, rechargeable batteries and we're working to ensure that we can provide the best performance and the best safety for the users before we bring it to market. Awesome, that's great. Well, um, we hope that um, you can tell us more about them. Um, th this is the li links. Uh, this is the link squared. One of the things we're particularly proud of, we won a best in class award from CES this year for accessibility. Um, the hearing aid market in comparison to a lot of other consumer electronics is tiny. Uh, we'll sell, uh, Apple will sell more uh, iPhones this week than the hearing aid industry sells in a year. And so that scalability is one of the challenges that often leaves uh, the best technology for those who most need it, those with more significant impairments, to years later. When we launched Enzo Squared, um, we brought a product that is a fully featured compatible with the made for iPhone product portfolio, but also is a state-of-the-art power instrument. And coupling that together, we've really taken that market segment by storm. So we're particularly proud to have received that award. And wh what are these actually running now? Um, we sell to the audiologist or the hearing instrument specialist rather than to the market. And so it will depend. It's more expensive in New York than in Iowa because of the overhead. But in a ballpark, it's going to be vary between about $1,500 and $3,000 a year. Most people wear two. And if people wanted to find out more information, it'd be resound.com? Yes. And, Thank uh, and we, we look forward to any questions that they might have. We're passionate about hearing, providing the best technology and the best connectivity. The future, we think 2017 is the year of the ear, and we, we look at all of the hearables and all of the hearing aids that are here, and there's a convergence, but, but we still know that for those with a hearing loss, it begins and ends by great sound quality and great performance. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.